Meet Serene Air, the airline that I have never traveled. Hold on, isn't there footage of you on board of one of their flights? Well, after my flight to Karaji on Serene Air, I shared my thoughts on Twitter saying the flight wasn't worth the 20,000 rupees I paid for and questioned their cabin safety as well. The local newspapers picked up the story and the airline published a statement and claimed that I've actually never traveled on them. Serene Air itself is no stranger to safety related hat news and I guess today's video is all about me proving that I've really been on board Serene Air. So guys, hello and welcome to another flight report. I am in Islamabad, Pakistan right now. My aviation tour of this beautiful country is going to continue. And you're probably wondering who those two guys are. So I ask uh, Hassan, right? Yes. And Harris, Harris to join me on this trip today because we'll be flying the third largest airline Pakistan. of Pakistan, Serene Air, on the Airbus A330 in business class or a executive economy serene plus. Serene, plus. Oh, serene plus exactly all the way to karachi so flight time is around two hours and we are at the lounge here which i'm going to show you um, as well at the domestic part of the airport but i'm sure it's going to be a fun trip what do you guys think very much looking, course, forward, I'm looking forward to it all right yes. good so let's do it let's go to karachi so guys, and here we are in the domestic part of Islamabad airport. The airport only opened three years ago, so it's brand new, it's really beautiful. And there's only one lounge. And this is the entrance to the lounge, which looks very beautiful, very kept in a traditional Kashi Kari style, I was, I was told. So this is the entrance. And if you go inside, you will find the lounge where we just filmed the intro at. So let's go inside and let's see what the domestic lounge here is all about. As a Serene Plus passenger, you're given lounge access. Business class is only sold on their Airbus A330 and not available on their smaller 737s. At the lounge, you are offered hot and cold beverages as well as snacks and sandwiches. And with a small delay of just 4 hours, our plane finally arrived. So we made it to the gate, the Airbus A330-200 just arrived. It is the only white body they have and it's the only white body in this country uh, other than a PIA which operates a few 777s and their entire fleet consists of this one plane and four, four 737s, Harris? Yep. Harris, where are you when I need you? Um, and it is an ex-Air Europa um, plane, it's 15 years old, it was leased until December uh, last year to Air Europa, which is like a budget airline in Europe, and it was returned to the lesser and now it's with Serene Air. Has there ever been a white body on a different airline in Pakistan before? Yes, uh, Serene Air and Air Blue. Air Blue had A3, A340. That is right, exactly. They operated down to Manchester, is that correct? Yep, that, that's right. And then uh, Shaheen Air had? Shaheen Air has done uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, Manchester as well. On which plane? On the A330s. A330. So now you know. It's good to traveling with local aviation experts. Indeed. Correct? Yep. Indeed. So hello and welcome to the random aviation cruise with Harris. First airline in Asia to operate a jet. Uh, that's a tough question. Kind of uh, confusion between Air India and PIA. The PIA, the Pakistanis claim that the PIA was the first airline uh, to fly the jet, jet engine aircraft in Air India. I don't even like playing this game with you because you know yeah. all the answers. So like, that sucks. But I, uh, according to Wikipedia, apparently it is um, a PIA it's and then Air India. But it is, I think, just as disputed as Kashmir. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is a disputed claim. <laughs> exactly. Ready? Are you excited? Very much. From a level to 1 to 10, how excited okay, are you? Okay, 8.5. 5. Yeah. That is like pretty much not excited. 8.5 is it? 8.5, I have a 5. No. <laughs> 5, it's just like, okay. okay. Thank you. So here we are, welcome on board the uh, business class here, Serene Plus, on the A330. 24 seats in total in a 2-2 configuration, like an angled flat bed. We're going to show you later what it looks like when you go angled flat. And as I said, they're old Air Europa planes. 
um, which you can see still on the in-flight entertainment. It's a lovely product, definitely an amazing product for um, a domestic flight, that's for sure. What's your first impression? Oh, it's really good. I like it's it. quite lovely, eh? especially for a domestic flight, yep. isn't it? There's a divider here, so if Harris is going to annoy me too much, <laughs> I'm just going to pull that over and then I'll have a bit more privacy. Like it, there is a uni There's a power outlet down here as well. Here are your seat controls and the table is kept right here but I'm going to show you once we have the meal service, if we have a meal service, uh, that's where the foldable table is kept. Hey Hassan, what do you think? What's your first impression? Very nice, very impressive, yes. For I domestic like this. Yeah. So I like it, the product is good. Um, yes. We'll ask you after the flight. All right. Again. Yes. <laughs> So another fact, I don't know anybody you know, on Valentine's Day, they were supposed to send this bird to Riyadh for its very first international flight, correct? Yeah, fortunately with the border closure, uh, yeah. they had to cancel it. Yeah, but it's going to be their first international destination, right? Yep, yeah. Riyadh yeah. and Jeddah. Jeddah and Riyadh, right? Yeah. yeah. Any extensions they have planned after that? Uh, Dubai, they will start Dubai. Uh, Jeddah, Riyadh, mm. and uh, with the center seven in Dubai. Mm. And there's a, pro, uh, there's a plan for Manchester and mm. Guangzhou as well. It's, it's tentative, it's not 100% sure. But mm. <laughs> took off for our two-hour journey to Karaji and something that surprised me was that within six months since the airline received the plane they were neither able to change the Air Europa logo or set up a basic in-flight entertainment which pretty much speaks of a very poor brand awareness. So we are airborne for the in-flight entertainment there is not much so we tried every possible function but yeah, it still hasn't been installed yet. First call of action was we got a bottle of water. We still haven't really figured out whether there's going to be food or not. So, and you are a very rare breed of plane spotters. Like it's a community that is like growing right now in Pakistan. And I know you guys still face a lot of troubles, uh, but what is it like to be a plane spotter uh, here in Pakistan? To be honest, it's uh, quite challenging for, for a plane spotter in Pakistan due to the restrictions, the rules, but still, you know, to be honest, getting through those challenges, getting to spot some of the aircraft, uh, because we don't get much traffic here, it's, you know, it feels quite good, to be honest. So yeah, those are the challenges like plane spotters like uh, face here in Pakistan, especially, like security, uh, technically by law, you're not allowed to take photos of an airplane, right? Uh, no, air airport, right? Yeah, Premises, yeah. But you technically run into troubles all the time with the authorities. So if anybody's watching from the CAA, I guess it is, right? Come on, guys, be kind to plane spotters. Let them spot. They're not harming anyone and they're just passionate about aviation. So lift those restrictions and let them take photos, right? Yep, I would love it. <laughs> so, and welcome to the new review here on the 330. Uh, I mean, there's nothing, there's no amenities, anything like this. Yeah. But it's rather spacious, but a bit worn. There we go. Ashtray. There is a mirror. Yeah. Very standard blue here on Serena. All right, Hassan, are you ready for uh, the most important race of your life? <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'm gonna count down from like three to zero and when I say go, you're allowed to hit the button. So the winner will get to fly PIA for the rest of their life for free. <laughs> All right, okay. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh yeah, now I'm going, now I'm going. I'm going. You have to go flat, you're, you're pressing the wrong button. You're losing the race. No, it's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly we see who's the freaking flyer here. <laughs> I won! I won! I won! What happened? You were you, you were off to a great start, but then you had a meltdown. <laughs> yes, yes. But great race. You did well. You did well. You got a bit confused on the buttons. <laughs> just, 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 the seat makes no sense. I'm like trying to figure out how to go back, but I'm the clear winner. 
Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have to go back to economy now. <laughs> And it would certainly make my day if you hit that subscribe button, the like button, and perhaps the notification bell as well. So Hassan and I were just trying to like evaluate uh, the service a little bit here or what it feels. And generally, there's not much of a warm vibe here, right? It's kind of like cold. The crew seems very, the crew seems very disinterested. Yes. They don't seem very passionate. Yeah. Dense environment, I would say. I don't know but it's it's not yeah. a very friendly vibe from the crew yes um, we were also talking about the the in-flight entertainment that they still haven't been able to at yeah, least do something fixed, yes they, they yeah. haven't fixed it yet and we can just see the screen and the languages yeah. it doesn't work anymore and they were supposed to send it last week already to Riyadh and imagine yes. going on a four-hour flight yes. and you pay some money and then you don't have an in-flight entertainment yeah. all right I don't know it's in, very interesting in Urdu my yes. name yes. means yeah. passion right? have yes. you pronounced it properly Josh. 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 There's no Josh here. Yes, the only no Josh, Josh here is sitting at 3K, yeah, exactly. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, same here. I was ex at least expecting like, the crew to be more outgoing, be passionate, to have a smile. I mean, yeah. you can even when even when we wear a mask, you can see whether somebody smiles. But yeah, as I said, I was very passionless and very, uh, very, uh, yeah. They don't seem to be yes. liking their jobs. Yes, even when we were entering the aircraft, the jet reached to its intersection, you know, between the business class and the economy one the guy standing there he was also very emotionless i would yeah. say and uh, no welcome no warm welcome yeah. so yeah where is that passion get your crew yes. where's that passionate is crew exactly if you're a crew and you do that job because you love it show it and share it with us yeah maybe yeah. maybe we get a nice uh, farewell at least maybe they're gonna say goodbye yeah i hope <laughs> i think they would do okay yeah. goodbye thanks for coming <laughs> So what is also quite shocking in my opinion is the cabin crew, I mean we are about to touch down, the cabin crew never went through the cabin to secure it, uh, half of the guys are still reclined, um, nobody sat there upright, um, there was no checks on safety, so this is very worrying given what just has happened recently in the aviation industry here in Pakistan. So I think this is something uh, the company or the airline definitely needs to remind and train their staff that this is absolutely unacceptable. A secured cabin can, in case of a failed landing, decide about life and death. Even if you do your 500 Islamabad Karachi sector, safety should always be the crew's number one priority. I don't point these things out for views or attention, but my genuine mission is to create awareness and make flying better for all of us, especially in a country like Pakistan that has struggled with safety recently. I hope this serves as a reminder for all crew to always make sure that safety comes first. After the flight, I've shared my disbelief about the lack of cabin safety on Twitter. As a result, I had plenty of Serene Air employees harass me and accuse me of sharing lies. This is also something that reflects very poorly on the airline that obviously lives in denial. What do we make of this? No, nothing excuses neglecting safety. Yeah. And that is something yeah, I do on not top appreciate on top of that, that it was passionless, it was effortless. Very cold behavior. Of I mean, I, mean, I got to be honest, I'm very spoiled with airlines here in Pakistan. They've been treating me really well, but I mean, even for you as a frequent flyer, this was, there was no energy, there was no passion. I mean, if they don't like their jobs, I mean, they should do something else, but like... Yeah, but it was, uh, it was initially we were excited. Yeah, but then we exactly, exactly. But uh, especially the whole safety situation, never securing the... Um, cabin? The cabin, and given the recent history uh, here in Pakistan, especially when it comes to the fake license scandal and everything else, I think that is uh, quite of a letdown. There's a lot of room for improvement. Yes, I hope but this video will make you <laughs> take this take it seriously or not offend you. Let's, let's hope so. Anyways, let's end the video. Harris, yes. let's end the video. Thank you, you two, for yeah, joining me really and hard. for making this a very memorable trip. And that's just the beginning. Now we're going to go and explore so the only thing we Karachi. Each other's company. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But guys, thank you so much. You're and, welcome. And it's uh, always been a, 
it's been an absolute pleasure and honor flying with you guys. And now we're gonna um, enjoy Karaji. So yes. tell them to subscribe and leave a comment. And it's your line, Harris. Like, subscribe, and comment. And Absolutely. share the video. Don't forget to share it. Yes. Inshallah. 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 <laughs> All right, guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. So, guys, hello and welcome to another flight for what? Review report. <laughs> oh, all right. So, guys, <laughs> should I should make the BTS? All right, all right. That's funny. No. Okay, all right. Okay, we're gonna get. Uh, we still have fifty-five minutes. No laughing. Okay. <laughs>